Hi guys, it's Niraj here from Push. For those watching this webinar who may not know me, I'm head of e-commerce at Push, lead strategist for growing online revenue for our customers who sell online. It does really seem like the other day I made a webinar like this, but now here we are again in 2017. This webinar is all about the upcoming holidays, some important dates to pop in your diary, and preparation to get the most we can out of the upcoming quarter. So when will the holidays start? Well, let's look at when people get into the Christmas spirit. This graph shows when people start searching for Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas. Thankfully, we won't be hearing this till November kicks in, but if you look closely, searches do start to increase from October. Now let's look at people looking for gifts. The finding here is different to the previous graph because we can see an increase from the beginning of October till the 12th of December. I found this quite surprising myself, but searches for Christmas tree have already started. The growth continues through October, peaks in November, and then declines as we come into December. If we combine all three of these graphs, there are a couple of things we can clearly see. The first is that people are already searching. Secondly, November is the biggest period for people looking to buy and where the most opportunity is. It might seem like it's still very early and we all have some time left to prepare for the holidays, but all the data we see suggests otherwise. It's happening earlier and earlier each year. Some interesting stats are that 48% of people have already completed the majority of shopping by Black Friday. Another is that 40% of shoppers say they started holiday shopping before Halloween. And this all makes sense because the awareness of Black Friday has increased significantly in the UK, especially over the last few years. And so rather than leaving purchases to the last moment where goods might be more expensive, in a market that is becoming more price conscious, a higher proportion of people are taking advantage of better deals earlier. I would say it's now more important to make sure you have a strategy over Black Friday than Christmas. Saying that Black Friday is not a day, and I'm sure all of you will notice many other websites and retailers having sales on for a week, if not longer. This is because they have noticed people are ready to buy whenever they get a good deal around this period. So why only focus on the actual Friday instead of taking advantage of this period of high demand? 1.23 billion was spent on retail sales online last year and that's up 12% year on year. Let's take Amazon for example, who is an online retail giant. Last year they ran Black Friday offers for almost two weeks. So I guess my point is that it's not unusual or frowned upon to do this. So do consider launching earlier and longer because it will benefit your sales. And it's not just ourselves at Push, Google, or even Amazon who are seeing sales happening earlier. Hitwise data also suggests the same. If you have a look at this chart, you will see visitor growth year on year in dark blue. But in the lighter blue, year on year sales growth, just look at that growth in October and November, year on year against December. It's significant and shows just how important it is to be ahead and prepared. Now you've probably heard others and myself bang on about mobile, but it's just about to become even more important. Last year, mobile queries as a percentage of all devices increased 53% on the year previous. In December alone, queries on mobile devices increased by 34%. That is massive. Hence, it is so important you have a mobile optimized website and experience for your customers. Otherwise, you risk losing potential sales. Something to consider around the holidays is to think outside last click attribution if you don't already because customers' behaviors are going to change. People will browse around more and react differently to your campaigns. So it might seem your PPC or email campaign is performing at X efficiency, but together they may be generating more value than you can see individually. For this reason, some of our customers approach us with a marketing budget as a percentage against overall revenue so they don't miss out, which might be something for you to think about. So key takeaways from this part of the webinar are that A, users are already starting to browse for Christmas even though it's only September. B, sales are happening earlier each year, so it's worth keeping this in mind for 2018. C, Black Friday has more sales opportunity than Christmas, so we should all change our mindset to prepare for November as opposed to December um, if you're not already doing that. And D, mobile is becoming increasingly important each year, so it's very important to make sure our mobile experience and speed is optimised. So guys, the next part of this webinar is to go through how Push is going to prepare for the holidays in Q4. Our account managers will be speaking to you directly in regards to this over the next few weeks if you do have any questions on the back of anything I'm about to go through.
most of you should have been sent this from us already, but if not, you soon will receive a report from us that outlines how your website is performing on mobile. This will give you recommendations to work through, which will help you to create a better and faster experience for customers on your mobile site. If you are keen to see the primary report from Google upon what this is based on, there are two URLs on this slide which will point you in the right direction. As well as checking your mobile performance, we will also be notifying you of any errors that are in your feed. Where we have been provided Merchant Center access, because we don't typically manage product fees for our customers, we will be looking at any errors that are flagging up that is stopping an item from showing on Google Shopping. Any item disapproved is an item we can't advertise and potential loss, so this is incredibly important. Typical issues we tend to see are incorrect prices, missing images, policy violations and GTIN issues, which are usually not so difficult to solve, but highlighting them earlier rather than later is going to help everyone to keep ahead. Rather than realizing later, perhaps something may have worked, but wasn't eligible to at the time. Also, we are capturing data so we can plan strategy and organize internal processes behind having any campaigns designed, built and so forth, so that they are ready for the dates they need to go live. The sort of information we are looking for is what promotion or discount you might be offering your customers on key dates in Q4, the start, end dates, and also any supporting materials. We managed to get most of you to send this to us on time last year, and appreciate sometimes there will be some delays in getting this information across. We will always try to meet demands, but to get this over sooner will help us then to focus more on optimizing their campaigns at the time they are live and be proactive instead of reactive. Then guys, depending on your strategy, we will do all or some of the following, such as update your ad copy with relevant information. Some background information is that in comparison to last year, there have been quite a few innovations in what we can include in an ad. So we have more space to highlight your USPs, your unique selling points, promotion and sales. Where possible, we will showcase your offers in banners. This is an example of a remarketing campaign for Halloween. So we will create remarketing banners that will showcase your business promotion or sales to customers as a browser web. Something that works typically well are shopping promotions. So where they are eligible to run, we will launch these shopping promotions to help you stand out from the crowd. Typically, we see a lot more browsing behavior around the holidays which is why exit overlays work particularly well as they help to keep customers on site rather than navigate away to a competitor. If you already have an exit overlay, then we will update them. And if you don't have an exit overlay but would like one, then please speak to your account manager who will be able to provide you with further information on how to get one. There are other actions we will take to promote, but this is to give you a brief overview on some key components we will be working on for the time being. Something else very important to bring up is to decide your marketing budget over Q4. In 2016, some of our customers generated the same revenue in Q4 as in Q1, Q2, Q3, the same year combined. My recommendation is to look at your budget as it is now and then increase along the lines of a 200% increase in October, 300% in November, 500% in December, and then in the new year, 200% in January. This course is an average and may be different for you and your business, but the underlying message behind this is to make sure you are increasing your budget and seizing the opportunity. If not, you risk losing out when demand and traffic is at its busiest. This brings me to the end of this webinar. To put things in context, we have a small amount of time left before the holidays kick in, so the sooner you can get all this information I request, the better. Ideally, we would like to have all the information together by the 2nd of October, which will then give us more than enough time to prepare. Please do speak to your account managers, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me even if you would like to speak to me directly. I'm really looking forward to Q4 and wish everyone the best. Thanks guys, and I look forward to speak to you soon.